family. Rich homie Quan, fam. We know that rich homie Quan had his like, oh my nigga, my nigga, my head, excuse my language, lifestyle, some type of way. Like he had records found that C minute record that you can still hear to this day. Like rich homies changed the narrative um, with a lot of more artists in that era when it came to the rapping and the singing, putting it together. But they don't give him the credit like talking about. At the end of the day, the game have changed, fam, from that era. A lot of people was asking about Rich Homie Quan, like, what's up with him? Because we didn't get no music from him. Fans wanted to hear, you know. In between this time, fam, Rich Homie Quan, and he even spoke on this situation, was going through a lot of, you know, things mentally that caused him. He even said that he stopped listening to music, you know, in the car, anywhere. And it hit home with me because I did the same thing for two years to find myself. Sometimes it take to get away from hip hop, all of the negative vibration, fam, and get some peace within yourself and then come back. And that way you know where you stand and where you're going because a lot of this, this hip hop music lead people. What I mean by that is, if an artist get a haircut or he say a certain word, word a certain or getting money, whatever, and the dudes in the streets try to portray that, fam, that don't know no better. That's not conscious, right? In between Rich Homie Break, fam, it's been a lot going on, right? He was just on an interview with No Jumper. On this interview with No Jumper, which he was just explain, explaining about his mental health, he also said that he got new music coming and the narrative uh, need to be changed on the way the music is being put out there. He watched what he say now because his kids is getting older and he got more conscious and that's what it's all about. He also was asked about Young Thug and the Rico. And he spoke on the situation. And he also said pretty much he feel for the situation, you know, with Young Thug and them. But you live by the sword, Rich Homie Quan said, you die by it. Pretty much saying, whatever you put in the game, what you get out the game. The sword can be the streets that lead you to the jailhouse. You feel me? Or it can be a gun or whatever the case might be. But Rich Homie Corn, see, sometime found, I want to use this as an example because you might have would have thought Thug was in a bigger position than Rich Homie Corn, like a lot of people you may think in your life right now on a local level, right? And at the end of the day, the most high is in control. All good things must come to the to an end. And what I mean by that is, fam, if you don't pull back from the good to find yourself, because you can get mixed up in the good, the pardon, the drugs, the killing, the willing and dealing, and forget who you is as a human. Until that God let that storm hit you, whether it set you in a cell or get you killed or whatever the case might be. So when it come to Rich Homie Quan back and back himself, like I have, it's a lot of people. It don't take jail, hell, or to get shot because you're going off the spirit of what you feel. And a lot of these dudes already have the spirit in them to stop what they're doing. They'll tell you when you get behind them walls, like I failed it, man, I failed it. Man. But they didn't listen to themselves. They rather listen to other people and what they got to say and rather hold on to the image for other people and drive yourself in a federal system or get killed still trying to be hood. 